In this video, we'll see how to assign color categories to different emails into your Outlook and how do we search those emails based on the color categories. Let us see that. Now, if you see, I have the emails. I'm in this training.tutorials at gmail.com, inbox 2600 emails. Now, I want to categorize those emails based on their priority or anything you can say as. So, how do I give up, uh, you know, uh, the color categories? So, first thing is I need to bring the color category column here. How do I bring the columns? I need to go to the view tab, click on this add columns. From the left hand side, frequently used fields, I have to search for the categories. And now selecting this categories, you have to add the categories here. So you see the last column, I have the categories and I can click on this OK. So here if you see on the last side, that is a categories column which is added. So I'll just expand it so you can see carefully. It. So I'll just expand that category column like this. Yeah. So these are the categories. Right now there are no categories assigned to any of the email. So if I want to assign the categories, I can just click on this place. Okay, it becomes as red category. So again, if I click on this place, again it shows as red category. On your PC, it might show some different options. Let's say if I select this one and if I assign some category at this by clicking on this option. Okay, I'll click on this option here. Okay, now what I'll do is if I double click and open any email, suppose if I double click and open any email, you see there's an option given as red category. Now, if I want to change the name of this red category to something else, let's say very important email or I can see as VIP, okay, uh, VIM, very important email. So I'll just double click on this red font, red color strip here itself. I'll just click on cancel, double click on this red strip and you'll get color categories. What it says is, these are the different categories, blue, green and all. So that's a red category. I want to rename it. I can just select this rename option at this place and I can write as very important. Okay, very important. If you want, you can choose the color. If you want, you can choose the shortcut key from here like this control F2, control F3, but I don't want to select anything. This is very important. If you don't like this, uh, this category, you can choose some other category from here. If you want, you can delete. If you want, you can create your own category also. So I'll just click on okay. Okay, now it says very important. Earlier it was red category. Now it has become as very important. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this close button. Now what are the changes has happened here? If you see this category, which was earlier as red category that has been changed to very important category here. Okay. Now the other category is nothing but red category, which is given. So if you want, you can keep on changing this category. Again, if I select this option, close this. If I select this option here, it goes to very important category. So whatever category you have selected, those will be assigned to that particular place. Now, if you want to search these uh, emails based on the categories, what you can do is you can just keep your cursor in this search current email. Okay, search current email and that's a categorized emails. So here if you want, you can search your emails based on the category. So I can select here very important emails, very important category. So it says there are only two emails which are very important and you can choose and search and whatever actions you want to perform, you can do on that particular emails. So I'll just click on this clear search option at this place like this. Okay. And all the emails I'll get at the particular location. So I hope you understood how to categorize your emails, give some colors, change the names, and you can search those emails based on the categories. That's all for this video.